at 430, Coin 6 is your summer guide to the outdoors, and this week, stepping up your hiking game. Yeah, our AJ McCord is teaming up with a professional photographer to help you take that perfect Instagrammable picture outside. All right, this morning we are out at Horsetail Falls of the Columbia River Gorge. We're with Cliff, who is a fantastic photographer, and he's going to teach us just a couple basics so that when you go out and explore some of Oregon's most beautiful places, your pictures live up to your memories. I got in photography when a friend of mine visited me here in Oregon. We have some camera. And I don't. And we went to Multnomah Falls, and when I saw their photos, man, it's just gorgeous. And I decided to sell my boat and my trailer and bought a camera. Even trade? Yes. <laughs> yes. And the wife is happy. And I always go hike early. Yes. Less people. Less people, less heat. Yes. Always better to get up early. Yeah. Hard to get up early. And I hope go better. hike weekdays, not weekends. Yes. You, I always shoot on manual. Okay. So my dial is always different. I always shoot on F8 okay. to F11 for my landscape. Then can you just zoom in? And there you go. Captures the colors yes, so well. Yes, the color. And there you go. You always shoot different mode on landscape yep. mode or portrait modes because yep. this is not film anymore. <laughs> Every shot is one dollar before. Yep. Now it's as many as you want. As many as you want. <laughs> Getting closer. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Everywhere you look is gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. So as a photographer, how do you decide what angle you want? Um, I decide when when I look on social media, people shooting almost the same kind of mm. um, same photos. Yeah. I try to be different. Yeah. You know, if my camera can touch the water, I'll let it touch the water to get a different shot. So right now I'm changing lens because I want the water to look smooth. Yeah. So, because this one, I'll try to get a um, different lens and put a filter on it, so to make sure the water is gonna be smoother. Gotcha. But my um, my settings of my camera will be at least f10. The shutter speed probably eight seconds yeah. to five seconds, and then my ISO always on 200. Oh, okay. So you don't shoot ISO over 1600, 6400 because it's gonna be a lot of grains on your photos, yeah. the noise. I will put my settings on timer. Okay. So I can time it, like let's say, eight seconds. And always experiment. If you don't like the shot, you can take a shot again. So we can, we're gonna review our shot. And there you go, you see how smooth the water now? Silky. Always shoot always with a foreground to make the photo look interesting. Because if you just shoot like that, Boom, it's boring. Right. So always make a foreground, like water or moss or leaves or yeah, or a person just getting out. That's, yeah. that's the first rule. Go out and enjoy. Don't worry about what camera or what lenses you're gonna use as long as you have one. Learn from it yeah. and then you can upgrade later. The best camera in the world is the one in your hand. morning in the gorge. It's so pretty and we learned so much. It was a super easy one mile hike up to Ponytail Falls. We're going to have all the tips and tricks that he gave us for how to take beautiful pictures of this state we live in on coin.com.